I'm now on a quest to make over a million dollars in nodes. I'm gonna be explaining to you in this video why I think that nodes are the next big narrative, the narrative that's going to create the most millionaires, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, in the crypto gaming cycle as well as in the general crypto cycle. Node sales aren't going anywhere. Nodes are becoming an ever-increasing part of our lives in the cryptocurrency space. And so I'm gonna be explaining in this video why I am so bullish, in fact, I'm so bullish that I am practically naming myself the Node King. If you enjoy the content, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So, here's the general thesis of the idea behind a Node. Uh, the idea that I can become a part of a project's journey, more so than just speculating on a token, believing in something, is something great. Now, I want to go ahead and quickly preface this with the fact that there's a lot of crypto projects in the space that are not good. A lot of them are created just to extract liquidity from the markets. They're not going to be a success. It's kind of how business works, even if they're trying to be ethical. Some businesses just don't end up working out. And so with this context, how do we actually win? How do we actually make profits? I'm going to be giving you a couple of examples on node sales that we've already done that we're well on our way, if not already at our return on our initial investment, as well as node sales that are coming up, uh, which I think makes sense. I'll explain to you why I actually think these make sense. So let's get into the first one. Now, the first example, and I wanna just show you how crazy node sales can be, is Aether. So for Aether, our node sale, we had our code jam, right? And we did about 153 Ethereum worth of sales. This is about $388,000. That's how much people actually invested under us. And so, you, know, you look at this number and you're like, wow, that's a lot in sales. Aether was one of the biggest raises of the year. They raised an astronomical amount. And so you'd expect them not to do very well, right? You'd be like, okay, they probably extracted. They don't need to make money anymore. It's over. You look at the chart and you're like, okay, well, it hasn't done too much. It's been a couple months. They launched in June when the markets weren't hot. The markets actually have been really bad for altcoins, but for the most part, Aether's actually doing really well. We bought into Aether at a sub $1 billion FTV, well under a billion FTV. I think actually the number was around 300 to 400 million. Uh, it's at 2.14 billion, so a lot higher than we initially got into it. And this is the power of getting into a node sale at an early tier. That's just the game. The game right now is set so retail, you know, hopefully gets into these whitelists uh, so they can get earlier tiers, which are much cheaper. You got on a code like JM, for example, you get 10% off, even cheaper to ROI. So how much have we made since the inception of Aether, for example? Well, it started off in June, it's October, it's been around three months. And in these three months, I'll be fully transparent with you, I own 15 of these nodes. I've gone ahead and accumulating about 90,608 VATH. So keep in mind, there's still you know that 160 day vesting, I think they increased it to 180 days before you can get your tokens but we've made 90,608, which is quite a bit. How much is that worth in Aether? Uh, well, that right now is about 4,616. So in three months, we've made about half of our investment back. I've invested $10,000. So 4,616, dollars we would assume that if Aether stays at this price, which they haven't experienced a proper bull market, the market's not crazy right now for crypto, gaming, AI, et cetera, except the meme coins, right? Yeah, if it stays at this price, then in another three months, so six months total, I am going to be at ROI. And this is not including the airdrop that I got, which I did get an airdrop worth thousands of dollars. So I'm even closer to uh, ROI. I'm about probably 60% to ROI right now. And it's it's been three months. That's it. Just three months. And this is for a project that has raised tens of millions of dollars, has clear revenue projections. I mean, it's actually making revenue. And it's absolutely killing it, killing it in this little bear period for altcoins. Absolutely killing it. Two billion fully diluted valuation. There's clear use case for nodes. It makes a lot of sense. Cloud computing, it's a huge narrative, right? And there's, there's many more use cases, verifier nodes that I'll be getting into in this video. But I wanna show you that, you know, despite the fact that we got $388,000 worth of sales, everybody that got into that sale, we got people into a bunch of whitelist spots for the Aether sale. They are essentially at the same point as me. They are about 40 to 60% to ROI in the span of three months. So these node sales can be very powerful if you properly leverage yourself. What made Aether special? Aether was the absolute king of cloud computing. They had a ton, an absolute ton 
of GPUs at their disposal, more than a caution network, more than some of the projects worth billions of dollars worth of FDV. So for me, it was a clear purchase at about a 300 to 400 mil FDV. I told everybody in my Ether video to buy around that point, and it seems like we're doing absolutely great. And of course, at the end of the day, you know, none of this is financial advice. It's just kind of my opinion on here as to why I think node sales are absolute killer. You should, of course, do your due diligence on all this. At the end of the day, they are highly speculative sales. So next one, uh, Carve. Carve is a great example of something that launched more recently. Carve right now is at a $764 million FTV, a launched back uh, October 10th. So it actually hasn't been a very long time. Right now, uh, they're listed very recently on Upbit, which is the biggest Korean exchange uh, pretty much out there. And so how did we do on the Carve sale? So Carve sale, we did about $125,000, right? And so for Carve, we got about 1,000 Carve tokens for my airdrop. I invested $6,000, very transparent on the channel. We get the same exact tiers as everybody else. And on top of that, how much have we generated since October 10th? Well, since October 10th, we've gone ahead with 10 licenses. Uh, we've generated 1,278.81 VCarve. Now, Carve actually is this really cool thing where they have a buyback protocol, which means that they'll literally buy back your nodes at 100% of the cost. So there's absolutely no risk attached. And these are the kind of node sales that we want to attach ourselves to. Not only do we want early tiers, so we're getting ROI significantly faster. We're aligning with projects that have clear revenue projection and also have less risk in terms of buybacks. I mean, buybacks are an absolute no-brainer in this space. And so VCarve here, we've got 1,278. This is in 14 days, by the way. This is 14 days. Just keep in mind, I invested $6,000 and I already got about $1,000 worth of an airdrop. It hit a dollar. I sold at a dollar. So, that's $979. So that means I've made about $2,000 out of my $6,000 investment in 14 days. 14 days. That's less than two months for ROI. So clearly node sales, if you can get in these early tiers, they are they're insane. <laughs> like actually insane. And the crazy part is that this isn't it, right? If you buy a node and it partners with other projects, which I'll mention the project later, um, then you can actually get even more airdrops for just having this node because it partners with other node projects and just providing further utility. People ask me, why nodes? You know, what's going on with nodes? Well, the simple answer is that right now we are in a very special moment. You know, the elections are coming up. We know about that. It's you plastered all of our timelines on X. And so what's happening right now is in terms of jurisdictions, nodes just make the most sense. When we are looking to airdrop communities, are we looking for token holders? If we go through token holders, for the most part, you look at tokenomics, they're always structured toward private investors, VCs, and uh, you know, the team funds that are locked over a certain amount of time. We don't really want to airdrop anything to that. We don't want to airdrop to tokens. What we want to airdrop to is a very specific amount of holders that are hyper loyal, very, very, very loyal, that they have, you know what, taken that risk to hold for years to come. They've taken a huge risk to be able to do that on a project that's brand new. And we wanna make sure it's tokenized on the blockchain. That's what we want. Nodes are that, <laughs> that's exactly what a node is. And so that's why everyone and their mother is trying to do a node sale, because it works. It just works. Are there going to be projects that fumble? Yes. Should you be diamond handing for the next three years all of your tokens? No, absolutely not. I think you should be actively selling into your node allocations because you need to get your ROI first and then you need to think about everything else in between. Just simple as that, right? And so how do we play this for the future, right? How do we play this for the future? What are some even more recent examples on, on nodes and, and them working. So uh, one that we did quite literally today, this one just started, uh, was Moonvale. Now Moonvale, we, we gave away about, I think it was 50 whitelist spots. I ended up buying 26 nodes. So about 26 nodes of Moonvale. We got in from tier two to tier four. Full disclosure, uh, right now, if you go on our Discord, which is Legion, I very transparently went ahead and shared all of this. Actually, most of the nodes were in tier two. Uh, if you look right now on the Moonvale Dune board, you're going to see that what people are buying in the public sale is tier four. So they're buying two tiers higher. It kind of is what it is, right? And of course, we are to assume that eventually this will continue to go higher. They actually also added a buyback program. It's tier seven and up. So we haven't gotten there just yet, but for the people that buy higher, 
They don't really need to worry about that stuff. So what made Moonville special in this particular instance? Well, Moonville was special because it had 25% of TG. So 25% of your tokens were unlocked from the get-go. Uh, they're also going to have airdrops. They got a $2 million node investment from Polygon. A Polygon wants to make a splash once again. You have Spartan Capital. They have other groups that have gone ahead and invested into them. And so from a valuation standpoint, they raised at 55 mil, which is 55 million fully diluted valuation. I believe it was May 2024, so pretty early on in the year when things were going a little bit crazy, we're starting to crash. And now when they're launching, right, the tier two valuation is actually very similar. It's about 78 million. Uh, but if you grab your discount, which it was code JM, it was 10% off, it's actually fairly close to that 55 mil valuation. It's not a crazy amount off. So we're looking for these very cheap projects, which we can get very early access to your list um, to, and that just kind of works out for us. They have also good products like Bushwhack, I think is really cool. It's a stealth battle royale. And so that's why we ended up getting into Moonville. And in fact, right now it's, it's still tier four. It's still fairly attractive valuation and we'll see where it goes, but we got ahead and most of the nodes we ended up giving away for whitelist were tier two nodes. So even better for the people that got him. Now, what's the... Big Kawabunga, what's the new one that's coming up and why are we doing this one? So the new node sale that's coming up is called Huddle One. They're targeting a $37 million node sale, which is a lot. They're pretty much trying to market themselves as the helium of the audio video conferencing world. And also they are trying to be the ultimate the ultimate node sale for audio and video. That's what they're doing. So they're going to have their actual huddle meet, which as you could see, they're meeting right now. There's a lot of people out there that are big into Google Meet and all these other platforms, but the latency and the cost to run in these platforms is kind of ridiculous, quite frankly. And so huddle is making it a lot more affordable for projects in a more decentralized manner. Nodes, nodes are decentralized to go ahead and, and run their video conferencing. I mean, you can go ahead and run it through one of these little nodes and then boom, you're in. <laughs> you're just simple as that in. Are you the one that needs to be constantly there with your node to be able to get into a conferencing? No, you're just helping other people do that. So to me, that's a very obvious product market fit. On top of that, they've already announced uh, that they're going ahead and partnering with other communities as well. I mean, they went ahead and partnered with Aether, and they also uh, partner with other other big, big players like Zai. We all know about the Zai node sale. That one was absolutely huge. Uh, what they're trying to do with Zai right now is in regards to their cloud gaming real-time communication. So communicating between players, that's something in gaming that is a very obvious use case. If you're ever chatting with someone, Off the Grid is a new game that came out. You have proximity chat, you're chatting with people. That All that technology could be run through Huddle at a fraction of the price that people are paying right now. So the use case, it's very obvious. There's already revenue, so they're already generating revenue actively as a result of what they're doing. And so this is a company that is, you know, very clearly generating revenue, is now doing a token. This is a project. And on top of that, we got very exclusive tiers. This is like something you really don't get often. We got tier ones. I mean, tier ones are the quite literally cheapest tier that you could get. <laughs> that's, that's it. Like this is the cheapest that you could get. And 50 tier two spots. So the two cheapest slots on here. How were we able to do this? You know, can every creator to do, do this like magically? No, it's because you guys have been supporting us on Legion. That's the only reason that we can get these crazy tiers. So continue to join our discord. If you guys want to get into these crazy, crazy early tiers, uh, then Legion is going to be the perfect way. I'm going to be leaving it link in the description. It's kind of crazy that we're able to get in this early. I'm going to be scooping up quite a few nodes depending on how many people don't end up grabbing it. I do at least five to $10,000 per sale that we end up actually getting into. I'm very excited for this one personally. If we actually look at what they're doing right now, it goes all the way from tier one to tier 10. There's no crazy price creep that you would normally think of when it comes to the older legacy nodes. It goes all the way from 0.12 all the way to 0.19. Not a crazy, crazy, crazy surplus um, in terms of the price point that they're trying to sell at. The valuation isn't absurd. They do a 5% unlock at TGE, only a two-year emission period. Usually, you know, it's like three, four, five years, depending on the node that you're grabbing. I've seen things all the way up to 10 years, absolute insanity. They're going ahead and doing their whitelisting sale the 6th of November and their public sale 8th of November. I'm going to be doing a dedicated video on this. But the reason that we want to get into something like this is because not only are they following the Arbitrum narrative, which for nodes has been very successful. We've seen Zai, we've seen Aether. But on top of that, they're going ahead and giving more and more airdrops because they've already announced their partnerships with Zai, with Aether. We can expect that there will likely be something there 
that we can expect. I am, I'm not 100% sure. It's pure speculation at the end of the day. It's not a crazy amount of nodes that they're selling. It's about 20,500. And the nodes are going to be activated in Q4. We don't want to wait way too long. Some of them are Q1, which I think is okay. But I think once you get to like Q2, 2025, we're waiting a really, really, really long time for our nodes. We want to make sure we get our airdrops fast. We want to make sure that these nodes are running from the get-go. We want to make sure we can take advantage uh, of what's going on here. And we want to make sure that the valuation isn't crazy here for what Huddle is trying to do uh, with uh, what they've already proven um, is possible with the with the node space. So that's why we're getting into Huddle. You know, we're getting very early tier spots. We're also able to take full advantage of this. We're able to do this ASAP. We don't have to wait three billion years to get into this. I think that right now, when it comes to the node meta, this is something that's more geared toward venture capital rather than us retail traders. We have never really had the privilege of entering token rounds. When we did, this was earlier this year, we were getting into these token rounds at like public sales. And to be honest with you, they were pretty garbage. I mean, VCs got way better terms than we ever could. But now they're essentially forcing these VCs to buy into tiers. They're buying into all these nodes. And in fact, when it came to Moonville, for example, they bought into like tier seven on average. And we got in at what, tier two to tier four? So retail is actually getting way cheaper because they figure if we can make retail money, then we'll get these very, very loyal holders that will continue to fight for us for years to come. If you made $100,000 off a note sale, what, are you gonna be, are you gonna be bearish? Or like, are, are you not gonna be optimistic about the project? Of course you are, of course you are. So that's likely where the industry will keep on heading. I've met up with a lot of projects and it does not seem like this node cell meta is going anywhere. So I would rather you prepare now for the alpha rather than trying to ignore this and missing out on what potentially be could be the next narrative for 100x gains in the future. It's not about holding just for tomorrow with meme coins. It's about holding for the foreseeable future until the next year when the market just peaks and you could take full advantage of the cycle. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you got context as to why we're doing node sales and everything in between, why the node meta is continuing to grow. We're using Code Jam for all of our node sales. Until next time, stay classy, and that's all.